Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Now we're going to talk about the recap of the early stream. If you want to join my stream, check out Good Free Photos. I'm streaming there every day but Sunday. Also check out Crypto Daily Update. One great crypto video for all your crypto needs um, and all your crypto news each day. So check those channels out in the comments and the description. So we're going to talk about Ethereum. Now there's been another Ethereum scaling solution, but it is a layer two solution. It is for DeFi and it's actually known to reduce the latency on the nodes like 37 times and increase the maximal possible transactions. However, I don't actually think this really solves Ethereum scaling issue because I think during like a bull run or like a time where there's a lot of transactions, uh, people are still going to do a lot of transactions on the base chain and Ethereum will crash. I mean, there's been a lot of these layer two scaling solutions been around for a long time. And A, I don't think any of them has been that widely adopted. And B, Ethereum still crashes when there's a lot of traffic. So it really hasn't solved the problem. I don't expect this particular uh, scaling solution to actually solve the issue either. Um, but they do have some, they actually do have a lot of good hopes for it. So the thing is, they're saying that even if Ethereum 2.0 wasn't going to happen, 1.0 still has a lot of life. It actually reduces the Oracle update latency up to 37.5 times and a drop, a drop in transaction delay of 75 times and significant contractions in gas prices. So hopefully this actually does help. Uh, it's written by Synthetex, which is um, a DeFi platform. It's written mostly for DeFi. It's called Optimism Virt Optimistic Virtual Machine or OVM. And it could solve some of the DeFi financial problems, but it won't actually solve the problems with Ethereum's on-chain transactions. I mean, like, this is probably going to be something like Lightning for Bitcoin or maybe Raiden for Ethereum. It has to, it has to be wide-scale adopted, which is going to be a challenge. And, like, it still doesn't solve the base scaling problem, so Ethereum 2.0 is still necessary. But more of these scaling um, applications are coming up for Ethereum 1.0, so they might be able to extend 1.0's lifetime out some more until 2.0 actually gets adopted. Another piece of news is that Ukraine is actually looking at, um, like Ukraine is actually looking at using nuclear power. Yes, nuclear power to mine cryptocurrencies. Now this is because of COVID-19 right now. And why it's because of COVID-19 uh, is because that um, the COVID-19 has actually reduced demand for like electricity and energy. Uh, and therefore, these power plants, these nuclear power plants, actually don't have as much to actually produce, and they have a lot of like waste energy. And they're saying that the nuclear power plants can actually generate some money um, by at, generate some money, and as well as have something to do, so they don't have to sit idle by pouring some of their money into uh, Bitcoin's hash rate. Um, so this actually could increase Bitcoin's hash rate soon, and that would actually increase Bitcoin's price, in my opinion. So this could be a piece of news for good news from Ukraine to pump up Bitcoin. I'm not really sure, but it could lead to that. VeChain is also the only public supply chain in the APAC Asian Pacific uh, Consortium, and they're working with uh, like IBM, Mastercard, and Alipay, like we said yesterday. So like Mastercard might be Mastercard and IBM might be private blockchain solutions for provenance, but VeChain is the only public. Uh, VeChain is actually, uh, VeChain is basically the only public provenance solution for um, the APEC uh, leader, uh, the APEC council. So I think they're actually going to work eventually in tandem with IBM and MasterCard, like one side be the public and one side be the private. And that's going to manage a lot of the $76 billion market between China and Australia. Now I said sooner or later, probably later because of the whole COVID-19 thing. So I wouldn't expect anything from it in the immediate future. So that is the wrap up for now. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.